This week is National Construction Safety Week, and the main message for workers is value every voice. This morning, the company building the Calhoun Liberty Hospital briefed all construction workers on important safety tips. As News 13's Courtney Evans tells us, the safety briefings are important as crews get ready to build the hospital's foundation. Back in November, crews started building the new Calhoun Liberty County Hospital. The facility is going to bring um, a lot of innovation that they've been needing um, to be able to provide continued access, uh, open up the access for care here in the Panhandle uh, in the Bluntstown area, um, helping to drive that quality even higher. Um, so that we can have more services for the patients here in Bluntstown. We've gotten all the underground footing and foundations complete in the main building. Uh, the central energy plant, we have all the block up at this point and a lot of the underground's going in with the electrical and the plumbing. And now we're looking forward to the slab on grade and the 1st of June, we're gonna be bringing steel in to go vertical. Ahead of that work, Hoar Construction is celebrating National Safety Week. On Wednesday, construction workers were reminded about the importance of communication, wearing the correct safety gear, and how to properly use a fire extinguisher. We do safety meetings, you know, showing the importance of the safety out on the, on the site, whether it be, you know, your typical PPE or what any aspects out there, the machinery, you know, just being aware of your surroundings and, and what's going on on the site from a day to day basis. To help boost morale on Wednesday, all workers were given a free lunch and several raffle prizes were given away. It's hot out here in Florida, so, you know, sometimes it, it's it, they start lagging. So we just need to do something to show them, hey, we, we appreciate you. So it's more of an appreciation and just let them know that we do care. In Bluntstown, Courtney Evans, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The hospital is on track to be completed in fall of 2025.